pastures where they they can go they can go out back. But I always take my dog out on a leash. You know what I mean? I take her off because that's what I've done all the time. She's used to that. Yeah, but that way I was getting. Can you just let them out the door? You know, right? Out the back, right? They get they get a doggy door. They can go out, but my dog won't go out that way. Oh, she doesn't know? Yeah, I pushed her off the door and nothing. She'll come right back in. <laughs> Don't use it, huh? I ain't using it, that's it. <laughs> Funny, huh? But you would think that she could enjoy that, right? Oh, yeah, because she could go out whenever she wants, you know what I mean? But, oh, no. She ain't putting me out there. They go to the park. Usually the backyard usually and those when she's gotta go to the bathroom I'll walk her along the edge, but now it's all wet. Matter of fact I took her out there a few minutes ago. She just asked me to put a brake on, I ain't going. <laughs> Not comfortable, huh? Oh, I mean it was raining pretty hard. Yeah, well it's not raining here. Sorry, thank God. Yeah, but 
probably thinking they buy a motor and put it back together, right? Yeah, well, what I was thinking, uh, my neighbor right there in the turbo box, he's got a 12, the same year as mine, but it's an Impreza. But I think the motor's the same thing. He's only got a little over 100,000 on it. And the underneath is starting to rust. And so he may, uh, I may ask, you know, he may get rid of it. You know what I'm trying to say? If I could buy the thing for a grand or something, it'd be a good idea, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, matter of fact, I'm going to call him today and see if he, he got his car, car. I know what it was, it's the, like, the wiring harness, in other words, uh, it was burnt up, and, in other words, I don't know what something happened to it, that's all I know, the neighbor tried to fix it, I think he made it worse, okay, <laughs> but now it won't, go into, it won't go into gear, it won't do nothing, and you're going to have to have it towed to the garage to find out what's going on. So he was thinking about maybe I'll just get rid of it, so I don't know. And in fact, that's a good idea. I think I'll call him, because that's only got a little over 100000 on it. Well, why don't you look into it a little bit more as far as that goes to see what it takes, right? In other words, the wire honey could have yours, and so on and so forth. But what I'm getting at is to make sure that, the, did you know that it was good? In other words, if the motor could fit in there is what you're saying, right? Correct. Yeah. I have to ask that other guy up there was... We'll fix the transmission because he's familiar with them, you know what I mean? Right, we do ask got some questions, Dave, you know, might be a chance to buy something decent, you know, back here. Exactly, so that's the whole thing right there. So I got a lot of things to figure out there. Freaking back on again. Boy, that's all they do, you mean, half the time, you know what? I understand. N1DD, K1 ABQ. It's a pain in the ass the time. Now I got somebody keying up. So is that right? Yeah, I don't hear it. Thank you. Yeah, about nine, I should have. That's okay, they're tuning their radio up, right? They can't hear us. Maggie. There you go. Well, that's not bad, then. Let me look out the window here. Hold on. Boy, I think it is downright pouring out there so bad it's unbelievable, because I can, I can, all I can do to see outside is it's going to be raining so hot.